So we got an LT1000. This is a pretty common problem on it. This uh, oil filter cap here actually cracks off. Right here. You see that? That screw is in there. The problem with this tracker is they actually don't make a uh, this part anymore. So when this breaks, you're kind of like screwed. But there is a way you can um, you can fix this. So what you do is you go and buy one of these. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to show you guys the part number on uh, where you can order this. So I'm going to stop the vid. I'm going to show you guys. Here's the part number. It's a nipple oil filter. It's like an adapter. You see the number 690954. So what you do you should screw this in to here. If I actually could get it in there. So you screw that in. You leave, you know, you leave about an inch out. So leave about an inch out. Now here's the next trick. You got to go to maybe Walmart or AutoZone. And you got to buy this filter. The Fram PH3614. You can buy them anywhere like Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those cool part stores you guys like to go to. You can do that. Now you screw that on there. Now what you should do, take a little bit of oil, you know, dip your finger in it because this had leaked. So you put the oil on this. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys are watching this. I'm pretty sure you know how to change oil. So put a little oil on it and then you screw this on like I said if I actually could get it to bite the threads so get it to bite the threads boom get it snugged on there like so see that put a little uh, that's good boom I got it so the next step um because when this when it actually happened it blew all my oil out so I'm going to go ahead and stop the vid for you guys. You know, we don't do all that talking in this crap. We get straight to the point. I'm going to go grab some oil. I'm going to pour it in the oil. And then we can go ahead and start it see if it fixed it. Your videos out here. And I'm not even really sure this is the right oil for this tractor. I really don't care. 10W30. That's not what this video is about. It's just trying to show you how to stop that leak. This holds, I believe, about a one of these and a half we're gonna go ahead and pour that in there we're gonna stop this video and after i get that all poured in we're gonna fire this tractor up and see if it's leaking so boom got, got the oil in there like i said by the way we just want to show you guys what kind of tractor it is craftsman 2010 Right, pause the video, LT. I'm gonna come here and show you guys this. You guys can pause the model number just to see, you know, if this video gonna be for you. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fire this tractor up. I got everything tight on there. This tractor actually does not come with oil filter. You gotta get that adapter to do it. But you only gotta do this if it breaks. So, Go ahead and fire the tractor up. So here we go. That's the frame filter. Got it nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this jump started. Battery dead. Show you guys how to get this going. So here we go. Got the frame filter on there. Got the jumper on the battery. Let's go ahead and fire up, see if it leaks. See if the bad boy fits. <laughs> So, 
it doesn't leak. Job is complete. Straight to the point. Subscribe for more videos. I'm out.